Good afternoon, my name is Jimmy Dillis and I'm a lecturer in the math department. Today I would like to talk to you about majoring in mathematics. I will start with the end and uh, basically with the opportunities that a math major provides. The most common outcome for math majors is of course education. Many decide to join the workforce in schools and uh, teach at uh, either the middle school or high school level. But this is not the only road. Some people after a math major decide that they want to know more and continue either with a master's or a PhD. Some decide to join the industry and uh, to work for, for example, insurance companies or real estate companies. Companies that require people with quantitative skills. You can also decide to take a totally different orientation. For example, working in a chemical industry or aeronautics. You don't necessarily have the right background to work in this field, but with the mathematical knowledge you have, you will be very flexible and will be able to adapt to any challenge that you encounter. Skills that math majors have acquired over their four years of education are often sought after by industry leaders. If you major in math, it means that you have good critical thinking skills and that you are flexible. So even though you might not be prepared for a specific area, you will always be ready to learn and to improve. So what do you do in a math major? Well, the most known aspect of mathematics is of course statistics and probability. These are the tools that people use to predict accidents, outcomes of sport events, and so on. But there's more to this in mathematics. Let's go back to sport. Let's talk about soccer. We all know the classical shape of a soccer ball. It is this round ball with a patch of white hexagons and black pentagons. Pentagon simply means a shape with five sides. How many pentagons are there on a soccer ball? Of course I could go to the gym, bring you a soccer ball and count it. However, I do not need that. Using some very simple mathematical invariants, and very powerful at the same time, I am able with a piece of paper and a pen to tell you that there are exactly 12 of them. Not more, not less. Well, these tools that allow me to tell you how many pentagons there are on a soccer ball without seeing it, also allow me to, for example, uh, do computations in physics. Physicists use these strong mathematical tools to make predictions about particles that they cannot see, which are much smaller than the strongest microscope can observe. This is the strength of math, being able to transcend a piece of paper in our imagination to make predictions about objects which we cannot really sense. Really, a math major is not a major that closes door, but rather one that opens many avenues for you.